Hi everyone, this is Lolly. We are at the Alumalite booth. Now, you might not understand what that is. If you've been watching my clear resin, uh, epoxy resin videos, you will recognize that name because the very last videos I did, I showed you the actual box and said this is the resin that I'm using. So let's come over here with Don. He's going to show us what they have in their booth. And this is Don over here. Hi, everybody. Yeah, so uh, Alumalite ETR is, is basically everything mold making and casting so and coating. So whether it's from uh, replicating a unique piece that you have or... Oh, um, right. So you, yep. you can make a mold of it and then make some more of them, right? Yeah, so if you have an original, you can make use silicone to make... Uh, your own mold if you're going to replicate it. If you have a, if you had a one-of-a-kind sculpture or an ornament, but you don't want to sculpt every one, right. you can use silicone to replicate it and use casting resin to make your duplicate that can be painted, dyed, drilled, sanded. And it cures very fast, 10 minutes. That is awesome. 10 minutes. And then yeah. what can you do with this surface once you've got it made? Once you have it made, you can, uh, like I said, you can add like a liquid dye to the resin. Okay. that allows you to color it a specific color, maybe for a base color, and you can take paints and you can paint it. Um, you can add, you know, like magnets to the back. If you want to do little refrigerator magnets that you're doing something different. If you have a little cabochon that you're putting a child's photo in and you want like to put it on the refrigerator. So, and then you put uh, like a gold finish on those. That's really pretty. Yeah, these, we basically, we have a series of um, polycolor dusts that really replicate some of them replicate metals like they do here, like a copper. Oh, okay. But you can brush those right inside your silicone mold prior to pouring your resin in there. And then it picks up all that resin, or oh I'm sorry, the, the color on the surface. Well, then. And it's really just black resin on and the And then back. you don't use as much and get it everywhere. Oh, it's so That's much right. easier than mixing it into the yeah, resin. Yeah, it's the concentrated dust on the surface that'll, that gives you the oh, really resemblance nice. of metal. That is awesome. That so what do we have nice. here with these pieces that look like wood? Yeah, so when you kind of bump to the next level, we have a lot of artists and, and hobbyists out there that are taking what we call worthless wood, which is wood that is full of cavities or um, insect trails that insects have eaten a piece of wood. And they basically take and replace all those cavities with uh, a colored resin that's vibrant. So this would, this would have been cast into a solid chunk, right? Put on a lathe and that they would they would turn the bowl I mean, at some point they would cut this in half and then they would finish off each, hone out the middle for the, the bowl part and the lid part polish it up and now you have a solid cast piece beautiful. from oh, so they fill the hole before they make the bowl they yeah, fill they, it with resin they basically make a mold box and they stick their worthless wood inside the mold box and, fill the resin. and then they pour the resin in we cure. have a lot of that in Colorado. Oh, beetle kill. Neat. We call it beetle sure. kill. The beetles yeah. killed the tree, but there's all these pa like cool wormy pathways. So look at this stuff. pen right yeah, there. Yeah, same thing here. Same thing. Wow. This was just chips of wood that was left over from a cutoff of a board. Oh, oh wow. Gorgeous. Who knew? Yeah, and here's so another neat. application where they took the same thing. You have wood here, resin all around it. They shave it into a veneer, polish it, and put it in a cell phone case. That's beautiful. Wow. And just think of all the colors you can do with that. Oh, yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, so it's, it's fun. It's, once you understand how the products work, it's really your imagination that takes <gasps> off because look at the handle. it goes I'm to sorry. A, another I'm, degree. I'm, I'm really like, oh, look at this. Look at, look at the handle on this wooden spoon. Yeah, you're, now you're getting into coatings. So right. you can take all of our clear coatings and add the same pigments or dyes to give you this dynamic effect. So, so is this a dip then, or what so are is you, this or are you just like putting it in a spinner resin? and like drizzling? What do you? Yeah, so it really depends. Um, most resins, uh, coating resins, they self-level. So you do have to have a way to either rotate it, right. or you just do one side at a time. In this, in this oh, instance, we just did one side at a time, um, and just drizzled it over the top. And then once that was cured, we just did the other side. Wow, I'm thinking that could be a great technique for other things. Mm -hmm. But couldn't you see just drizzling our tumblers instead of spinning them all the time? Yeah. That would be crazy. Yeah. I know I realize there's drippage and all that stuff, but mm -hmm. we're having tumbler issues. This is, oh my goodness, can I pick this up? Yeah, absolutely. I want, I want to see if we can get that yeah, in the light. Yeah, that flower in there is, is a little hard And the to butterfly. See, but. Wow. It's gorgeous. So that's a round mold, and they, they Looks like they put clear down, and then the butterfly, and some other things, and then that flower. There's the back of it. It's just a plastic flower, I'm assuming, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. It's artificial flower. That's beautiful. And you can do it with real flowers as well if you dry them out well. Here's what you need to do for your Disney trips. 
art? So it doesn't affect the photos? Uh, uh, generally you'd want to seal, uh, just as a best practice, to seal over those with a, a white glue sealer. Okay. And then that just seals it in, make sure that you don't have any dyes that are out of the photo, photo uh, inks that will run. Right. And it seals those up well. And this is, this I thought was a big block of resin. It's a canvas that they dripped the resin over. Who knew? I thought this was going to weigh like 40 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of replicating a geode. On yeah. oh, oh, it does. And it, you you succeeded. You got the glitter in here. The, the different, there's chunky glitter and there's fine glitter. It, it really worked. Oh, and this is even raised up. It's mm -hmm. three dimensional. And then I see they have the silicone putty to make your own molds right there. Yep. Fast. What's okay. fast? Oh, that's the one that dries yeah, in. Yeah, this one is. Yeah, this is a this is a fast cast urethane here. These are coatings. This one you would cast with, and then we jump in a couple mold making, a liquid and, and putty. Um, and then this is a spray sealer as well. You could use okay. a spray sealer with these photos to seal photos or paper or fabric prior to applying a resin okay. over it. Or even if you weren't applying a resin, you could use this as a general now, sealer. Last night we were talking about the longevity, uh, archival quality of resin pieces, and she mentioned something about putting a water-based sealant over the epoxy to prolong the UV protection. Do you yeah. do that much? I mean, I never well, thought to do that. My it, things aren't in the sun. Yeah, so. it's, 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 you know, whenever you apply something over a surface like this, this is high gloss and beautiful yeah. as it cures. Whenever you start putting a top coat, it's you'll start diminishing it. that. It'll be more, yeah. You'll That's knock what that I would down. Think. You'll knock that clarity down. So, well, you just, don't really need to seal it, do you? I thought it wasn't I a. Thought a it wasn't was, for sealing. It was to give it more UV or a light protection from yellowing or fading. Yeah. Whatever's oh, inside. Yeah, gotcha. your, your, best, your best option is to go to a product like this called Amazing Clearcast Plus. And this has enhanced UV protection. UV protection. So, oh, see, you know, okay. all but this resins, would stay really yeah, clear. all resins over time will develop a we'll yellow hue. Okay. So this really fights that off the longest, and really is industry leading. So that if you're applying it over something white, it'll yeah. stay white for a longer time yeah. than a than a general purpose epoxy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's your best defense right there. Okay. Is using something that has a technology in it to hold off that UV right. uh, impact. Right. Okay. So many. I didn't realize you had that many products. This is really interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna I have slide one more I want down to show this way. Um, this is called uh, fiber lock, and this is yeah. one component material that you brush off the, on the back side of items, and it gives you a rubber backing. So here you have it could be a rug that oh, prevents wow. that rug from sliding around. So and you can't don't see it, but it is yeah, definitely it dries rubbery. clear. So it can be on the back of a placemat. It can be back on a hallway runner rug. Uh, you can put it on the big uh, black. Like my wife, she has this place that she goes, stuff runs through onto the table and I don't see it. So she puts this on the backing, they don't slide all around, and it's machine washable. Oh, that is machine. really awesome. So it's a fun little product that we have out as well. But you can also put that, for instance, on the bottom of a coaster. Coaster? Yep. Okay. We have people that put it on their stage, they have custom slippers. Oh, <laughs> so they, they get it on the slipper, like baby footies, baby footies, oh, that's you know? Okay. That's what I need, because I wear slipper socks all the time, and the rubber part wears off after time. Yeah, so. And then she's working on projects Be over here. Yeah, they're trans doing some uh, kind of what we call dirty pours. We're using some of the, the epoxy with colorants and uh, putting it onto a canvas. Oh, Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. Oh, oh wow. wow. Now, I've not been into paint pouring, but I think the epoxy pouring is better. I don't, you know, I mean, I think this is really beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, you can really. Here's some more molds. Yeah, and there's some samples that are already dried. And, and the fact that they're the able beauty. to put little chunks of it's like metallic flakes almost, but glitter, yeah. definitely. Mm -hmm. But I think she's got some metal flakes. Yeah, there's some little, like aluminum. Yeah, tell. Really pretty. And there's there's several ashtrays and oh not um uh, no ashtrays posters posters yeah we posters we've got spoon brass um, this is a dirty pour but it's actually a poster that's a bowl you can make uh, magnets the ones with the little ridges remind me of posters because I was raised with everybody in the family smokes you know, oh, no. years ago. <laughs> these are, the, these are like jewelry bowls, oh, and these really are like we do um, get a lot of ashtrays. These are like stuff. they go in your cup holder in the car. Yes. Yeah, those are like really, those are fun. Pretty cool. oh, and you can nice. put that non-skid stuff on the back of yes, that. Yes, that's exactly what you would do. Is you add like the um, really the 
support board. Oh, okay. Yeah, show the little roses, the little petals. Yeah, well. yeah. and then these are actually, those. I'm putting magnets on this. This one actually, I'm not done yet. So you we're still working backing. on this. Oh. Yeah, we're still, I have to sand this off oh, man, and then so just re -pour. But I try to age it so I like sand everything off here, make it look really distressed to go with the beach. So I'm still working on that. That is really beautiful. But this is just MDF board. Super, super All right, easy. Right. MDF board. Oh, she's got a peep mold over there. Peeps, the little bunnies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I call my followers peeps, so that's one of my symbols oh, that I use it. all the time is a peep. I was just saying I could do peep resin, you know. That's really fun. Well, yeah. thank you for sharing. This thank is you. Really nice fun. seeing you again.